Ay, Charlie throw it back, baby, gon' shake it Ay, keep that shit in motion, keep it rotating Yeah, she all about a bag, ain't no time wasting Yeah, she don't want no nigga, baby, let's face it I been really feel like this in a minute Yeah, that demon's to my soul, got my image You ain't got... <laughs> What's up, Curvy Cutie? It's Sherry Plus Size Beauty It's Marie And if you're new to my channel, what's up? Welcome Here we do all things beauty, lifestyle, self-motivation, self-love, things like that if you're a regular and you're a curvy cutie, what's up, curvy cutie? Welcome back to my channel. All right, y'all. So y'all know I'm getting back in the swing or whatever, or doing shit. And if you're following me on all the platforms, you probably already know this. But y'all, your girl got a new fucking car. I got me a new motherfucking car, y'all. And I am so excited to like. Bring this to y'all, bring y'all in on like what's going on, we've been up to, why we been so sh sh type shit. Like, we gotta go back. We gotta go back because I bought my Chrysler Sebring 2009 in 2019, cause it was about 10 years old. I wanna say I bought her in about 19. I bought her as like a graduation gift for myself cause I graduated in the year two, 2019. College, I graduated college 2019. Okay, so maybe like a week after I had my car, y'all. Totally. Completely, totally. Totally. And it wasn't even my fault. It was, so I was going straight, like going through a light. My light was green. And I was driving because I saw that the previous light after my light was green. So I was like, let's catch these lights type shit, right? Um, they were supposed to yield, so I'm going this way. They were going this way. They were supposed to yield, they didn't yield. They hit like the back part of my car, and I spun onto the other side of traffic, hit a tree, and all. Like, I will show y'all pictures of my car. Like, it was bad, y'all. It was terrible. I was shaking up. I was scared to drive after that. Um, around this time, I was living in a homeless shelter, so that was like where I was leaving from. I was right up the street from there. My car still, the plus side to all of it, y'all, was my car still was running. Like, they wanted to tow it and total it. And I was like, fuck that, hell nah, I just bought this car, it's the only car I got. We can hear my motherfucking guard. So, y'all, y'all see how Tink looks? I call her Tink. Beep, beep. I call her Tink. We are in now what? 2021. Y'all, we have been spotted out as plus size edition and Tink. I have went to collab events in Tink. I have been pushing Tink, y'all. I have been pushing Tink. Because at the end of the day, I just felt like I was humble enough to still have a car. Because I could have totaled it and that could have just been it. And I wouldn't have had shit else to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was already in homeless shelter with my baby. Yes, y'all. That's a whole other story. I was already in homeless shelter. Like, the whole point of me being in a homeless shelter was to save my money and to get a car so that I can graduate and get the hell on. Right? It seemed like the right thing to do at the time, y'all. And so, I have been pushing Tink for years after. The reason why I kept on to her, another reason is because, of course, insurance. Like, I had insurance. Um, I had insurance. And so, it was supposed to be like an insurance claim. Like, it was their fault. They was at wrong. I was supposed to be getting a check. And, you know, getting a new car, whatever the case may be. Long story short, y'all, they called me damn near two three months ago maybe maybe like maybe like six months ago and was like we done research on your case we done tried to look into your case and we don't think you have a case so what the fuck that mean y'all not getting the bitch in the bar y'all not finna sign the check i mean what and y'all because i bought my car cash that 2009 I only had liability. So if their insurance wasn't gonna cover it, my insurance was not finna the fuck. I don't even think I reported that shit to my insurance. So I was pretty much holding on for faith and for me to be like, okay, this is how I'm gonna get another car. Once I started seeing like, okay, every week is 500 here, is 200 here, is 3,000 here, is 2,000 here, is 100 here. So it's like, I love you, Tink, but Tink, you gotta go to bed, baby. It's time for Tink to go to sleep. It's time for Tink to go to sleep. 
It is time for Tank to go to bed. Okay, um, it's a lot of y'all. Shout out to y'all for being curvy and being cute. Cause <laughs> I haven't even read them comments and it's a lot of comments that just like, just took me over for a second. Okay, so yeah, thank y'all so much. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Stay tuned because I got more bangers coming. I love y'all. Until next time, Curvy Cuties, don't forget to stay curvy, stay cute. Peace. Hey, Charlie, throw it back, baby, gon' shake it. Hey, keep that shit in motion, keep it rotating. Yeah, she all about a bag, ain't no time wasting. Yeah, she don't want no nigga, baby, let's face it. I've been really feel like this in a minute. Yeah, that demon to my soul got my image. You ain't got